higher. This kind of is less than two, but we're not. We're just kind of carrying on with less than one. Um, right then, so SI units. So we know seconds is S, meters is M. Meters per second is ms to the minus one. Meters per second squared is ms to the minus two. Right, so let's have a look at this. So we can do some conversions. So we want to express three meters per second um, as kilometers per hour. Now I know there's a thousand meters in a kilometer, but it's like 0.001 of a kilometer, isn't it? So I have to divide by a thousand. So I've got three, I'm going to divide it by a thousand because it's a thousand meters in a kilometer. And then I'm going to change seconds into hour, which is 60 times 60, or 3,600. And that gets me 10.8 km goes to the minus one. If I go the other way, it's easier because I know that there are, to get from kilometers to meters, there are a thousand meters in a kilometer. And I know that, uh, going from hours to seconds, that there are 3,600 seconds in an hour. So that one's actually easier. In many ways, you should do two before one. So that gives us 16.7 meters per second. Now your calc will do it, but you probably faff around more using trying to find it on your calc than actually doing it. Right, so let's have a look at velocity time graphs then. Um, so it says here that your velocity is on the vertical, time goes horizontal. Now if I kind of draw a little triangle in this, my gradient is the change going up which is V minus U, over the time. Now we know that a change in speed over time, a change in velocity over time, is acceleration. So I'm saying then that my acceleration is V minus U over T. Now that's quite important that when we do the SUVA equations, because if I multiply through by T, and then I take the u over and get v equals u plus at. And that's one of the SUVA equations that I work with, which hopefully you saw at school. Well, at least you know where it comes from now, if you didn't before. So then I've got another one that says, all right, let's work out the displacement. So the, the area is the displacement. The area under the curve is the displacement. So in terms of the, just draw another little one here, and then you fit. It's u up, it's v up, it's t across. So the area, the displacement, is it's a trapezium, so it's the average of the parallel sides, which is my u plus v, times t. Ding. And displacement, I'm going to use as s. There. And that's another SUVA equation. Bar. So that's quite nice to do. Uh, next, so I've got a velocity time graph for a body which, uh, body which starts at rest, so its velocity is zero, it accelerates uniformly to eight meters per second over two seconds, so that's that part of it, um, and then maintains that velocity for a further five seconds, yep, yeah, it sure does, because it's nice and flat, but the, the velocity hasn't changed, and then it decelerates uniformly to rest by 11 seconds. So the initial acceleration <clears throat> is from 0 to 2, isn't it? So I'm going to look at time 0 through to 2. So we know that acceleration is velocity over time. It's the gradient. So it will be 8, because it's gone from 0 to 8, on 2. So it's going to be 4 metres per second squared. And that's the gradient of a velocity time. Uh, find the final deceleration. Oops. So let's have a look. So it's going down by 8. So A is minus 8. And the time it takes is from 7 to 11, which is 4 seconds. So it's going to be on 4. So it's minus 2 meters per second squared. Now it's important this to say that I'm accelerating at minus 2 metres per second squared, 
or I'm decelerating at 2 meters per second squared. If you say you're decelerating at minus 2, you've got two minuses there, so you're actually accelerating at plus 2. So be really careful with that. Uh, then it says find the total distance of the body. So I've got a, um, a trapezium. So the distance is the area. So I've got a trapezium, which is, uh, let me draw a picture here. So it's on its side, which always puzzles people. There's my two parallels. So it went to 12 seconds at the bottom. So that's 12. Goes as high as eight. So that's eight. And we've got this middle bit here where it's flat, which is flat between two and seven. So that must be five. So my distance will be a half of five plus 12 times eight. Um, what else is going to be? What's that going to be? 17, 34, 16, uh, 56, 8. We got 64 meters. There we go. The, uh, right, where are we? Whew, shall I do example two? I might stop doing example two in a different one, but it's not as long.